Hi everyone, it's Michelle with Craft with MV. Today we'll be making this pineapple card and I'm using that reactive foil. I've been wanting to try it and I actually had bought some so I thought I'd try it on here. So let's get started. Put the card over here. Of course we're going to be using the pineapple which is in the new catalog, Stampin' Up! catalog. The Hello is from a set called um, Hello You Thinlets. Hello is in uh, Bermuda Bay. They have Bermuda Bay card base at eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter. Melon Mambo, um, piece of Melon Mambo at five and a quarter by four and a quarter. And a piece of Pink Perrette at five and by three and three quarters. Yeah, three and three quarters. I'm just gonna back this up a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay, I also have a Bermuda Bay stitched ribbon bow I made. I already put it together. Of course, I have the uh, reactive foil. I have hot pink and teal because in my world, my pineapple's hot pink and teal. And I have dimensionals. I'll be using Versamark and I'll explain why. I have heat and stick powder. Um, I'm going to be using the fast fuse and a bone folder and my big shot. So we'll get started. First I'm going to um, take this and stamp my image in Versamark. I can't find my Versamark pad, so I'm using my Versamark pen. But normally it'd be easier to do the Versamark pad to do this. So I'm just making sure that I get this nice and wet in the leaves. And I want to make sure I get the corners of the leaves good. Oops, I'm kind of ruining the tip there, sorry. So, I just want to make sure it's good. Everything's covered. The edges are good. Okay, we're going to stamp this now. So now we're going to stamp this on the pink pirouette. Something like that. Okay. Now I've seen some videos where they put two-way glue on their stamp. I personally don't like to do that because I don't want to get that all over my stamp. So I am trying the heat and stick method. Heat, heat and um, stick powder method. I saw someone do this and it worked out pretty good. Um, so that's the method I'm going to be using. Oh, you know, I forgot to use my bombossing buddy. So, if you have an embossing buddy, you should use that first. I want to make sure that I get this on really good. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it on there, but... can see it. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and heat that until it's just wet with our heat tool. Now this um, reactive foil I have is from Heidi Swap, and I bought it on sale a while back because I've been wanting to try this method. So, let's see, okay, now I'm just going to take my bone folder and kind of push it down for now. I'm going to run it through the big shot, and for the big shot, what I've done is I've, um, I kind of added some scrap pieces here to kind of make a shim so that it really presses down well on the paper. So I'm going to stop this and go to the um, big shot and just run this through. Okay, now we're, um, we've done running it through the big shot. So let's see what happens. Ah, a little messed up. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. And I'll be right back. I'm just using um, a brush to try to brush it away and also this little um, adhesive eraser. So I'll be right back. Okay, so what I basically did is I took a, a brush and I brushed anything that was loose. And then I took the adhesive um, square, you know, the adhesive remover square, and just kind of did where I had over stamped and it had uh, stuck to it. That is our card. So now I'm going to attach it to our accent piece with the fast fuse. Okay, now I'm going to attach our hello. What I did with this, just to make it easy for me, is I have this little uh, sticker thing that puts ink on, you know, adhesive on the back of things. So for me, I just made it simple for myself. Just kind of do that. Remove the adhesive at the top. Remove your saying, and then, oops, I'm just gonna place that down here. Okay, I'm gonna use blue dots. I need to get out for the bow. I'm actually just gonna do two to make sure it sticks good. Okay. Okay, use my scissors just to snip. Okay, there's my bow. My saying, I did it real simple because I just kind of wanted to try this method. Of course, the first time it came out very not, you know, good. And this time, you know, I guess because I was a little rushed, I mess it up a little bit but in the, as a whole I think it's cool looking I think it's a cool idea and I think it makes it look very interesting to um, you know to add a little you know change to a card so and I'm popping this up so I'm just gonna put some dimensionals on just take them off just gonna stick your nail in the middle pops up aside Makes it easy to come off. Here's my base. I'm just going to add this to my base. Okay. There you go. So that was trying the foil method. The reactive foil. Um, I like it. Of course, you know, pineapples aren't hot pink and teal, but like I said before, that's in my world, that's what color my pineapples are. Um, and I did the hello saying because pineapples are a welcoming thing. And what else to say welcoming than hello? So if you like this video, let me know. If you uh, have any questions, you can contact me. If you need a demonstrator, I'd be happy to be your demonstrator. Below will be a list of all the items I used. And also my blog information and my website information will be below in the description section um, on my blog there'll be a complete description of how I did this with instructions and again with the supply items that I used and also a PDF if you wanted to print out the instructions so I hope you enjoyed it a little different something new and um, I've been wanting to try it so this is my experience with it thanks very much for watching God bless